About five years ago, we realised in this school that we had a problem. Everyone wanted good practice, but we were all working in isolation. And what was one person's good practice was someone else's unknown. So, senior management, heads of departments and so on, all got together, we all had our little committees, we all met, and the Robert Clack Good Lesson Guide is what we came up with. It's something that we realised would fit into, into all subjects, and as such, was a framework that we could all aim to improve upon as well. So therefore, once we'd sorted this out for ourselves, and we knew we all were aiming for the highest standards in the structure of our lessons, then we were inviting in the local authority, and of course, Key Stage 3 people, who could give us further help, further involvement, and further honing of what we already had. Right, OK, kids, here we are again. Now, we've got four objectives on the board. Basically, the Robert Clack Good Lesson Guide, it followed an old idea of an introduction, a main part, and a conclusion. But really, that wasn't sufficient. It wasn't good enough. And in particular, we needed to state our aims clearly to the children. These are the aims of the lesson. Then we've got a good, positive starter. And it has to involve all the children. That's an important part of that introduction. And hold them up if you've got them. Hold them up. Well done, Sean. Good. Excellent. Very, very good. Come on, hold them up. Hold From there, right seamlessly up. on into the main part of the lesson, where there should be, again, a lot of involvement, a lot of engagement, and a lot of uh, progress being shown. And again, there's got to be a good pace to it. Following that, a plenary. Now we say, this is what we've done, this is what we know, now let's bring it all together. Let's have a discussion about it. Let's see what else we can push our knowledge onto. What can we apply it to? It's got to involve, again, listening skills as well as talking skills. That's what I want you to talk about. Discuss. Homework can come in at any time, but really, although homework is, is vitally important, it, sh it shouldn't overtake these very important areas Two of the minutes. Robert Clack good lesson. Read through very quickly, but then discuss what is there. This is going to be your homework, so pick your partner's brains now. Five years ago, our GCSE 5A to C pass rate was 17%. Five years later, our target is 60%. We're knocking on the door of 60%. Now that success, one of the main ways that we've achieved this success at Key Stage 4 is because of the structure that we've put in at Key Stage 3. You can only get success in the later stages by ensuring structure and success in the early stages.